TII Technical Education Systems, Teaching Technology for Tomorrow. In this video, what we would like to do is show you the different methods of creating tags. In the Siemens program TII V1, Portal V114 gives you a number of different methods for programming tags. So the first method that I'd like to show you is how to program tags before you start programming. And this would be an instance where everything has already been wired for you. You know exactly how you would like to program the machine. Um, so what we would do is we want to go to your PLC right here and this will bring up the view of the PLC um, that you first encounter when you detect the device and uh, this is your PLC right here. So we can zoom in okay, to a little bit of a higher resolution, roughly 300, right? We get a real good idea of the inputs and outputs that are available to us. Then what we would like to do is expand the property. After you click properties, your general tab will pop up inside of them. What you want to do now is go ahead and select your IO tags. All right. What we want to do here is to tag the different inputs that are on the TII Technical Education Systems Trainer and the different outputs that are available to us. And so what we're going to do is we, I want to show you how you can pre-tag them before you actually put them into a program. So what you want to do is identify the different addresses. So, for example, I0.1 is the left green push button. So what we can do is just come over to the name and just type in left green push button. Okay? Uh, I0.1 is the yellow left push button. So left yellow push button. Now these are both normally open. If I wanted to identify them as such, I could. But in this case, I don't think it's necessary. Now I02 is a normally closed red left stop button. So I'll just call this, we'll just call this left red push button. Hit enter. Now if I wanted to put a comment here across any of these, so for example, I could come here and say your left red push button is normally oops, closed, that comment has been inserted into it. Now that I've created a couple of inputs, let's do some outputs. So if we scroll down, here are the outputs that we have available to us. So the first output that we want to do is the left red, the left red light, Q0.0. So we'll just identify this as left red light. All right, hit enter. We can scroll back down. Um, then let's say we want to do the next one, Q01, which is what we refer to as the left yellow light. And scroll back down. We'll do one more. We'll do the left green. So left green light. All right, now we've tagged three different inputs, three different outputs. Let's go over to our main OB1, our main program, and let's create a program using these three. So we're just going to do something very basic. So one input for one output. So now here what happens is I want to just tie my green input, my left green input, to my red light, my left red light. So all I have to do is come over here and start typing left, and you can see the tags pop up. Now, if your tags are similar, you gotta pay extra special attention to make sure you don't click on the wrong one. So we're gonna do the left green push button. Select this, hit enter. And then for our output, we will just put left red light right here. And as you can see, they are already tagged to the inputs and the outputs that we associated with them when we're in the PLC page. Now we'll come down here and do the, do the next one. So we will do left yellow right here, left yellow push button, select that, hit enter. And then we can go to the output and we will do left yellow light 
And I think you have the idea. Now these are tagged, these are created. Now, if we wanted to create our tags while we were programming, there's a couple of different ways to do that. And I want to show you these on a little bit of an individual level. And for this, we will actually use the right-hand side switches and inputs and outputs. So I will make a generic input and a generic output. I'm going to grab this and I'm going to call this right green push button. Hit enter. Okay. Now I want to define this tag so I can right click and select define tag. And notice that it tries to put it into a memory right away, the ones that we use for our HMI. We're going to change that. And this input is I0.4. So we will just replace that I I0.4 and hit enter. And then select define. Notice that appears here. Okay. What we can do is we can go over to the PLC. Oh, and right there, I4 right green push button has been tagged to that PLC input. Now we go back to the main program and we want to do the right the right red light. Hit enter. We want to define this tag. Now this is Q0.4. So we come here Q0.4 and select, and if I wanted to add a comment in here, um, no. write light um, for machine one, there it is. Hit define, and it's right here. Okay, and if you hold over it, you can actually see that description that, you, that we created, the comment. So, this is another way of defining the tags as you're programming. All right. Another way to do, which is very popular, is to actually drag the inputs and outputs to the associated inputs and outputs on the PLC. For example, let's make another generic rung. I'm going to come over to here. And we're going to use the right yellow push button. And we want to come over here and use the right yellow oops, yellow light. Now, what we can do is we can come over here and select the split screen. And in this case, the split screen will go between your program and your PLC. Sometimes it's a little bit easier if you minimize your project tree, you can see a little bit more. So now, the right yellow push button is I05. So we're going to drag that over to I05 right here, drop it in, and now we have tagged these input and outputs to the real world devices. The right yellow light is Q05, drop this in, and now these are tagged. Come up here, turn off my split screen, bring back my PLC program project tree, and I have a four-rung program created here using different methods for tagging. Now there's one other way to tag that some people really enjoy, so I want to show that to you here real fast. I'll make one more uh, input-output rung, and I'm going to identify this as right red push button. Hit enter and make this right green light. Now what you can do is you can actually grab the tag, drag it down to open up your PLC window, and then your PLC appears. So then you can drag that over for your input to six. Drop that in there. Go back to your main OB page. Grab your right green light, bring it over down to your PLC, and drop that off at 6, your right green light, and there you go. You have now created a program 
that tags that you've now created a program that shows you all the different ways to tab. So what we want to do, come back to our main OB, and we want to go ahead and download this. Go ahead and hit load. Once that's loaded, I'm going to come over to monitor screen. Everything looks good, so we can start activating our inputs that we created while watching them go true. Now notice this is a normally closed contact, so the light is on. You activate it, and it shuts off. These are the different methods that you can use for tagging input and outputs on the Siemens TIA Portal V114 using the Siemens PLC. You can go ahead and take the PLC offline. And this is Unit 8 in the TII Technical Education Systems Trainer.